Procrastination is a serious struggle for so many people. If you're one of those lucky ones who just does everything as soon as it needs to be done and you never put anything off, just click away now because this ain't for you and I might just hate you a little bit. It's really jealousy, but you get the drift. But most of us do it, right? We know stuff needs to get done. We need to send out that email campaign for some upcoming promotion or we need to figure out what the heck our promotion is in the first place or we have to send out those, you know, haven't seen you in a while, mailers or emails or whatever. Or we have to get the bookkeeping caught up or taxes done. Whatever it is, you just can't seem to make yourself do it. It just never seems to be the top priority at the moment. But when you find yourself constantly procrastinating, especially about the things that could get you new clients, fill some appointment slots, keep you in business, or really move your business forward, that's not a good sign. In fact, that's often a sign that you're on your way to burnout or already there because you're not doing some pretty basic stuff to keep your business going. So let's see how we fix this. Hey y'all, Savannah Bell here with My Massage World. And burnout is basically a physical and or mental collapse, so to speak, due to overwork and stress. When you find that you're physically and emotionally exhausted all the time, you're really irritable, you're constantly feeling stressed, you dread what once was enjoyable, you're getting sick or injured often, all of these are good indications that you're burning out. It happens to the best of the best, so don't listen when you hear some guru tell you how they've never dealt with it because they're so zen or whatever, and be sure and buy their program, by the way. I call BS. I don't care how much you love your job, how much you enjoy your day-to-day -day tasks, it is in our human nature to get burned out. We get tired of doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, we need a change, or we just need a break from it all. So we procrastinate and we put things off. The not so important things and sometimes the really, really important things. It's kind of like our way of controlling a situation or just not facing something that we see as stressful. But here's the thing, you're already stressed about it. So let's say for example that it's getting your bookkeeping or your taxes done. Is that big box of receipts and pile of paperwork sitting on your desk, is it going away because you refuse to acknowledge it all and do the hard part of getting it done? Or is it stressing you out because it's sitting there like taunting you? Is it stressing you out to see that thing on your to-do list every week only to move it to the next week and then the next week and the next week? Which is more stressful, facing it head on and getting it out of the way in a single day or a week or whatever so you can just be done with it and no longer have that hanging over your head? Or do you want to sit with that nagging stress staring at you for a few more weeks or months by putting it off yet again? I mean, I know that I can sit here and say, just do it, like the Nike slogan is some sort of miraculous mantra that'll get you motivated, but that's not the way it works, is it? You have to come up with a way to create your own motivation around this, whether that's internal or build it up in your mind that you got this and you're you know, tackling this or that project no matter what, or it's an external motivator, like a weekend away to celebrate that you finally took care of XYZ project. You've got to find what works for you. But before you figure out what's gonna work for you, there's an important subject that needs to be covered. And that is the things that can come disguised as procrastination. Because sometimes it's more than just flat out procrastinating. It's really perfectionism or a need for organizing or planning or an arbitrary list of priorities or a fear of failure and all kinds of other feelings and emotions surrounding this. I'm not procrastinating, I'm just not going to worry about bookkeeping until I have the perfect system in place. Perfectionism. I'm not procrastinating, I'm just waiting to have things set up a certain way. The need for organization. I'm not procrastinating, I'm just going to put my website design on the back burner until I have every detail mapped out. Planning. I'm not procrastinating, there's just more important things to take care of even though this is really, really, really important. Priorities. I'm not procrastinating, I just don't know what it's, that it's worth all that effort if it doesn't pan out. Fear of failure. Each of the things you find yourself putting off for another time, do they fit any of that? It's a sneaky disguise, but they really do go hand in hand. And simply saying do it isn't enough. You need to find the reason behind it. Are you procrastinating because of perfectionism, a need for organization, planning, priorities, or fear of failure? Figure out the root cause, the real reason that you're procrastinating. Then, and only then, will you be able to fight the battle against it and stop burnout in its tracks. So what have you been procrastinating? What's the real reason behind that procrastination? And most importantly, what are you gonna do about it? And if you need to work on your mindset around your business, I highly recommend my class on developing the mindset of a successful business owner. 
This isn't the overdone mindset work in the sense of positive mantras and manifesting and look at how great you are type stuff. I mean, if that helps you, that's great. Go find that. But that is not not what I teach. It's not what that class is. In it, we dig deep into who you are, how you think, what your strengths and weaknesses are, where your locus of control lies, developing self-discipline, and a whole lot more. Because that's how you're going to determine how you run your business, what your goals are, what your business even looks like, how to structure things, and what your day-to-day job is actually going to be. So check that out. I've got it linked below. And if you need any other help learning about organizing and marketing your business, then go check out my website over at mymassageworld.com. Follow me on all your favorite social media platforms and join the My Massage World Facebook group uh, where I'm available for more individual help and I post all kinds of business tips. Thanks for watching. See you next time.